Charles Seed at the People's Ford Garage and today what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you the five most useful features of the Ford Ranger Wild Track. The first feature I want to talk about in this Ford Ranger Wild Track is its sheer off-roading capabilities. Even though the Wild Track measures in lengthwise at over five meters, this vehicle actually has an entry angle on slopes of 29 degrees and an exit angle of 21 degrees. It also has a huge ground clearance and in the Wild Track, you actually get underbody protection so it'll protect your transmission when you go off-road. And to top it all off, this vehicle will actually wade in water up to 80 centimetres. It's an absolute off-roading beast. One of the main reasons someone will be buying a Ford Ranger Wildtrak is because of its huge load capacity and its towing capacity. And the Ford Ranger Wildtrak does not disappoint. If you get the tow bar fitted as an optional extra, this Wildtrak will tow three and a half tonnes, which is huge. Also on the towing bar, you get an electrical output fitted as well. You can't talk about the towing capacity in this Ford Ranger Wildtrak without talking about the load capacity. And in the back of this Ford Ranger Wildtrak, you can actually load just over a ton. Also while I'm in the back, what I'll quickly say is, at the People's Ford Garages, we can fit a ton of optional extras onto the back of this Wildtrak, including full cabs, roller cabs, extra electrical outlets, or roof mounted lights if that's something that you're looking for. This Ford Ranger Wildtrak isn't all about lugging heavy loads and off-roading, it's also extremely manoeuvrable with front parking sensors, rear sensors, rear reversing camera and huge wing mirrors that all help with the manoeuvrability. I mean these are bigger than my hand but you can see all the way to the back of the pickup in them. Another really great feature on this Ford Ranger Wildtrak is the design in the center console here. So the one we've got today is the 10 speed diesel automatic and the drive selector in the middle is dead easy to use. It goes from park, reverse, neutral and drive. It slides in so easily and it's got a lever finish on the top so it feels really nice in the hands. Next, we come to the two wheel drive or the four wheel drive selector. It's just this little switch here and it switches between two wheel drive, four wheel drive high and four wheel drive low. So it switches between high and low rev gearbox. Then you come to these buttons at the front. You can select lots of different things in these buttons, including you can turn on and off the traction control. You can lock out the rear differential or the rear wheels. And then the last button activates hill descent mode. So when you're coming to a steep descent, you can turn this mode on. It'll make sure the wheels stay locked in place. It'll make sure the revs stay high. So you're never freewheeling or losing control when you're descending a hill and you have ultimate control. It's a really nice feature. Also, while we're talking about the center console in the back, you get a 150 watt three prong charger in the back and a 12 volt. The last really useful feature in the Ford Ranger Wildtrak is these front seats. They're both heated, they're both partial lever, but there's so much lever on them they might as well be full lever. Also, the front driver's seat is electronically controllable and they're just super comfy, they're super nice and they've got a bunch of Wildtrak badging and really nice stitching on them. They are really great seats. That is some of the most useful features on the Ford Ranger Wildtrak. Now, if you're looking for a bit more of an in-depth review, I've done a much fuller video on the People's Ford YouTube channel and social media channels, where I actually take this Wildtrak off-road. But if you're totally interested in this car or any of our make or model of Ford, then head over to the People's Ford website or our social media channels, which is at People's Ford.